Welcome to Kriva Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Venetia Mine rapidly becoming a flagship in advancing De Beers' climate ambition, private sector working with government on multiple work streams to end load shedding, and capital cost of South Africa's titanium beneficiation project expected to peak at 14 billion rand. De Beers' carbon neutrality head Kirsten Hunt says there's no one solution to get to net zero or carbon neutrality. A combination of approaches is needed, along with efficiency, renewable electricity, alternative fuels, and nature-based solutions. There's no one solution to get to net zero or carbon neutrality or whatever you like to call it, right? You need a combination of approaches. You need efficiency. You need renewable electricity. You need alternative de- alternative fuels. You need nature-based solutions. And all these are parts of the puzzle. One is not better than the other. Uh, It needs a combination. And to get them all in place, it's a process. I sometimes get frustrated because so much of the carbon and climate debate is focused just on numbers, right? What are your emissions? How much did you get them down? And not on what are you actually doing in what environment to do it. Like we operate in a complex environment where we're going to have to build everything that we need to reduce our carbon footprint from scratch. That takes time. I think that means the impact is even larger in the longer term, uh, not just from a carbon perspective, but also from a development, a just transition, a transformational perspective. But that is sometimes a really hard story to tell when when the the only question you're being asked uh, is about the numbers. So I think that that would be probably my, my key message is, this is a process. We're all in it together. We need to work together. Um, and we need to be strategic about how we do it and how we report on it and how we talk about it. The private sector is so far working with governments on six of the 10 energy crisis work streams for which business raised 100 million rand to procure skills and expertise for donation on an arm's length basis to the presidency within which the National Energy Crisis Committee is housed. The South African authorities recognize that we need effectively all hands to the pump to deal with very fundamental challenges, which act as a break on real inclusive growth. And of course, that growth leads uh, to employment and deals with many of the challenges that we've got in the country at the moment. We had a very successful experience of partnering with the government during the COVID pandemic in 2020 and the vaccination rollout in 2021. And we've used that as the basis for partnership with them uh, in the three areas that we're focusing on. Of course, there are different pockets of government that are uh, more supportive than others. uh, But from the president down, there is a wide acknowledgement that we need to put all of our collective shoulders to the wheel um, and see how we can bring the best resources to bear Uh, from all social partners, I have to say, not just from business and indeed from the public sector, uh, to try and address these very fundamental constraints in the system. South African ilmenite, used to manufacture titanium dioxide pigment in KwaZulu-Natal, is on the way to receiving a major value boost. If you look at Nyanza now putting together a plant for 80,000 tonnes per year, that's probably around about 50% of Africa capacity. So while it's a huge uh, and a phenomenal project, it's just over 1% in terms of the global market. I think I think when we started the project in 2011, we had an estimation that just the titanium plant without the infrastructure and utilities at that time, and the rand dollar was still at seven and a half, eight to, you know, uh, the, the dollar to the rand. And today we, we are above 18. Um, so so that, that number today in terms of what we are looking at financial close is You know, for the EPC and construction costs, we're looking at around about $500 million. So that's 9 billion rands in terms of uh, uh, the amount we're looking at. And that covers not only the titanium pigment plant, we have to also build a sulfuric acid plant next to to it. We have to build gas boilers. We have to do wastewater and large infrastructure utility companies, including some some solar uh, power and cogen power just to add on our, you know, just to manage our energy security. And if you look at the $500 million just for construction, there's still financing costs that we will incur. You have interest during construction and working capital. So we're looking at a peak funding close to $750 million. 
uh, which, is, which is just under 14 billion rands in, in today's numbers. We have a huge opportunity as Africa and South Africa to actually move up the value curve and start bringing in these advanced uh, uh, material proje- production companies. For money news as it breaks, stay logged on to moneyweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.